With the highest rate of recovered COVID-19 patients in the Americas, Cuba has begun phase three clinical trials of its second vaccine candidate, Abdallah, in the eastern part of the island, while the trial of the Soberana O2 candidate continues in the western part of the country. Our correspondent, Rolando Segura, has the story. Abdallah is the second vaccine candidate against COVID-19 in Cuba to enter the final phase prior to its definite approval. We have our second vaccine candidate authorized to begin its phase three clinical trials. This is something that really motivates us and provides us with lots of energy to keep working. Cuba is producing the Abdallah vaccine candidate on an industrial scale and will begin its application with three doses during a month to 48,000 volunteers in three cities in the eastern part of the country. If satisfactory results are achieved, the requests for emergency use authorization will follow. It will open the regulatory path, also approved in Cuba, to extend the vaccination process to the entire population. Meanwhile, the Soberana O2 vaccine candidate continues its final stage of trials with 44,000 volunteers in Havana. 150,000 frontline health workers will also be vaccinated with the vaccine to evaluate the effects in at-risk populations. Cuba has the goal to immunize its entire population, more than 11.2 million people, this year. We are preparing to produce between 1 and 2 million doses per month, on average, and this will allow us to vaccinate the population in about six months, because the country needs 30 million. Applying the same recombinant protein technique used by the United States biotechnology company Navavax, Cuba is developing five vaccine candidates and, whichever receives official approval, will become the first vaccine against COVID-19 to be developed and produced in Latin America. Rolando Segura, Telesur.